At the peak of her career, she was the golden girl of the music industry, selling more than 50 million records in America alone. Police attended the Beverly Hills Hotel in LA yesterday afternoon. It is now at the center of the investigation into her death. The singer was staying here to attend a pre-Grammy party hosted by her producer and mentor Clive Davis, an event that went ahead as a tribute to the most successful female Grammy artist of all time. Wowing audiences with effortless vocals rooted in gospel but made palatable to the masses, her songs were the epitome of pop. You don't look like a bodyguard. There was fame, fortune, and even success at the box office with films of Bodyguard and Waiting to Exhale. But her rise to stardom was matched only by her gradual demise, her marriage to rapper Bobby Brown ending in 2003 amid rumors of drug abuse and domestic violence. As the years went on, Whitney's behavior changed. Often late for interviews, she canceled concerts and talk show appearances. Then came the confessions of cocaine abuse. This is what she told talk show host Oprah three years ago. It was every day. Drugs? Yeah. yeah. Every day? Yeah. And I didn't think about the singing part anymore. Really? Yeah. You didn't miss it? Nope. My life went... <laughs> In 2009, she appeared on The X Factor. It was meant to mark a comeback, but instead raised doubts about her physical condition and state of mind. Posted on YouTube, this is Whitney last Thursday night at a pre-Grammy party. It was to be her last ever performance. Tributes have been pouring in with those she inspired using Twitter to express their sorrow. From Simon Cowell, there was this. I'm so sad to hear about Whitney. We've lost one of the greatest singers of all time. Christina Aguilera wrote, We have lost another legend. Love and prayers to Whitney's family. She will be missed. And from Mariah Carey, there was this. Heartbroken and in tears over the shocking death of my friend, the incomparable Miss Whitney Houston. By the end of her career, Whitney Houston became a cautionary tale of the dangers of drug abuse. Pop royalty whose reign ended with an untimely death. Gamal Van Bale, Sky News.